taking a walk in New York City. Somebody lost their sweater. That sucks. I'm on. Oh man, I gotta be stuck on Park Avenue. Just had my interview. You know, it's crazy. But it's such a nice, beautiful day that I figured, what the hell? I might as well just uh, walk. It's beautiful. I mean, it's like 60 degrees and sunny. I mean, I can walk freaking. It's a 29 minute walk from where we recorded his hotel to my hotel. So I'm like, but you know, it's like a $25 Uber. I'm like, I could walk. It's not even that big. You know I mean, take me 20, 25 minutes to walk. If it was cold and nasty or something. I would, I wouldn't do it. But Park Avenue is. Uh, this is where all the big money high rollers live off Park Avenue. This is where a lot of the big publishers are. Big, big publishers are in some of these buildings. Big ballers like, you know, Robert De Niro, Martin Scorsese and stuff, they live here. In this particular neighborhood is where freaking ballers live. Like these old brownstone apartments, they're beautiful, they're well kept. These apartments are like, let's, let's say you got a whole floor in that building right there. It's probably, 10,000 a month, maybe 20,000 a month, could be more. I mean, you could buy them, maybe they just like, it's four, four or five million dollars for one of those apartments. Four or five million for one of those apartments. This is where all the celebrities who live in New York, this is where they live. Um, I'm just a guy nobody wanted to. I remember this though, I actually remember this place, 47. I remember it being here before when I was in New York, you know, walking around New York, just kind of. I used to uh, just explore New York. That, you know, all I would do is make a, have some scam or hustle, get a pocket full of money, and just walk around. When I got hungry, I ate. I wanted to go out to a nightclub, I just walked into a nightclub. I'd meet girls, I'd see a girl, hey, how you doing, what's your name? It's constantly uh, on the move, New York City. Now, it's uh, all sensory overload, man. It's, it's crazy, dude. Center. I just can't believe so many people here. Like, look at these, these women with their kids. Like, it's this is crazy, man. Right? There's so many, so many bad people amongst us. Like, so many bad people. And you get thousands and thousands and thousands of people around. There's bad guys. I was a bad guy. I used to be a bad guy. I was one of them. I used to do bad things. But, uh, now. Just another dude, man. Just a humble writer. Lives out in the woods, likes to hunt. I couldn't take. I couldn't take. Uh, I can't take being in the city. I gotta. I gotta figure out where I'm going. I thought this was Park Avenue, or um, I think I gotta make a right. I'll find out. Left. Halloween in New York City. Surprised a homeless person didn't eat it. No, there ain't no homeless people around here. This is where there's big money. Big money. Some homeless people started posting up around here, camping out. Cops get get them out of here quick. This is where all the celebrities live. Uh, I'm gonna be by Central Park in a minute. Pumpkin, one pumpkin. That's what you do. You put one pumpkin out. Oh no, there's two. My bad. I'm at the Central Park Zoo. Sounds like a zoo. Uh, I'm not gonna go in it because I mean, if I had more time, I'd go in there. But just. Walking around, looking at a few birds and fish and stuff is not really, not worth 14 bucks. And I, I don't really have the time, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna be able to look at it for an hour. You get in there, you wanna go in there for a couple of hours and see what they got. Okay, there's uh, there's uh, sea lions, or seals. Seals are sea lions. They're showing off. I wonder if people can, I wonder if anyone can feed them. They probably can't feed them, huh? The, you know, they're living their best life. There they go. Oh, there's a dolphin in there too. A couple of dolphins. Or no, I think it was sea lion. I thought I saw a dolphin. It's crazy. I'm gonna walk around Central Park a little bit. It's a beautiful day. You think that I'm back home walking through the woods. This is actually New York City, Central Park. You can see the skyscrapers. I'm actually just walking through Central Park. 
Yeah, I got a few hours to burn, I said. Take a nice walk. I got comfy shoes on. I used to walk around Central Park too, years ago. Oh, squirrels. And uh, I walked around all these places, man. If I have it, if I remember correctly, <clears throat> there's an amphitheater out on the other side of this hill. My, uh, my Google's telling me to turn. I'm telling you, I think there's an amphitheater. This is Central Park. You wouldn't think you're in Central Park. Yeah, I remember this, this being right here. Years and years ago. Nice day, man. It's 60 degrees in Central Park. Funny. This is it, where all the crime happens. I'm just kidding. Crime does happen, but it's not that bad. Native meadow. Beautiful. This is a great place to spend a little time walking around, reconnecting with nature in New York City. In my books, uh, one of my books called uh, Turntables, it's about this dude named Soldier Shamrock who runs off to New York to be a writer. It's funny. And everything gets messed up. He ends up in prison for something he doesn't do. But there's a pivotal scene after he gets out of prison. He's in Central Park right here. And he's sitting on a, one of these benches along here. And it, there's a, these drug dealers getting a high-speed chase and the cops are chasing them. And they throw all the drugs out the window. And they throw all the drugs out the window. They come, and money. They come, it's because it's Mark Money. They come slide to a stop like at the dude's feet almost. He picks it up and there's, you know, like eight ounces of cocaine and like five grand in there. And he's like, what the hell, man? This is good. This is, this is money. Because he's broke and destitute and just lost everything. Some bum robbed him and stole his whole duffel bag. He just got out of prison yesterday or that day even. And so it's this pivotal scene it happens right in here. Kind of crazy. I figure out how to get out of here. I think I know where I'm going. I gotta, I know where I'm going. Back to my hotel. I just climbed down this rock cliff here. Oh, it smells like it's poop. But um, there's Essex House up there. This is me in Central Park. I'm going uh, somewhere over here. It's like the skating rink. That used to be an amphitheater over there. Not sure what they what they've done with it now. I'm just trying to get back to the city over there. Got a bit of a walk. Not a huge walk, but about a mile. I'm just going to keep walking and enjoying my day. And uh, that's what I'm doing. In New York City, walking around Central Park. Things could be worse. All these people having fun. It's a beautiful day. Everybody's out and about. Chilling. I'm actually pretty darn hungry, man. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna eat something. Just gonna walk around and look at what's happening here. Maybe if this is a restaurant here. Maybe I eat something here. Coffee, food, hot, chocolate. Let me see. Only in New York. I'm in Central Park. Sunny day. It's like 65 degrees out. And there's people out there ice skating. How cool is that? And as it gets closer to Christmas, this will be filled with people. By Christmas, it'll be thousands of people. They put a big Christmas tree up here. It's beautiful. I think that's sweet. I love it. I was going to buy some fried catfish here, but I'm a little nervous biting fried food out of a food truck thing, man. I, my stomach's been bothering me. I think this is pretty freaking cool, though. I'm just saying, people here ice skating. 